Hello and thanks for joining us. Today we will be demonstrating a lab that will teach your students that if an experiment does not meet the desired results the first time, the result may be reached by adjusting the procedure through observation and collection of data. The name of this lab is a foamy solution. The materials you will need for this lab include baking soda, liquid laundry detergent, vinegar, water, two 16 ounce cups, and paper towels. Sunshine State standards in this lab have your students define a problem from the sixth grade career code, use appropriate reference materials to support scientific understanding, plan and carry out scientific investigations of various types, and defend conclusions. The inquiry question for this lab is, in 20 minutes, find the relationship between how much of solutions A and B must be added to each other to produce a specific amount of foam. Afterwards, use this relationship to produce the exact amount of foam that your teacher challenges you to create without exceeding that amount. The conclusion statement for this lab is, without knowing what the solutions are, an experiment is devised to carry out the inquiry question. Before the lab, fill up two 16 ounce cups with each of the following. Solution A should have a fourth cup of water and two tablespoons of baking soda and solution B should have a fourth cup of vinegar and one tablespoon of liquid laundry detergent. I'm going to go ahead and add both of those into their respective cups now. There's the laundry detergent into the vinegar. And I have paper towels ready, you might want to do the same for your students. Now for the baking soda. The next step in the lab is to mix solutions B and A together to create foam. It is your job as a teacher to determine the amount of foam that you want your students to create. I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate what happens when solutions A and B mix. Please note that you don't need that much of solution B to make foam with solution A. So here we go. The goal of this video is to help you get your students to grasp the aha moment. In this lab, the aha moment is, when I mix both solutions, I get foam. That's all for today's program. Thanks again for joining us, and we'll see you next time.